Hello, uh, Aquasport fans out there. Uh, wing time here. Uh, as you, some of you may know, I have no spark on cylinder number four. Replaced the coil, which is 27 bucks, but I thought that was a problem, but wrong. Still no spark. Um, so I picked me up, since I have two boats, probably going to own a bunch of boat, more boats in the future, this CDI outboard spark tester. You can do it, you've got uh, eight inputs there, so you can do an eight cylinder. You've got a big ground, ground cable here, or you can also just put it on with a ring, but I just used the alligator clip and actually just clamped it outside of the spark plug. And you can adjust, and you can see these lines on here, those are your different spark plug gap. <coughs> Uh, the service manual call, calls for about a 7 16 gap. Uh, I got this thing set at 3 8 gap. Uh, probably, you know, close enough. Um, anyway, it's got, you can see I've got all the spark plugs disconnected and the spark plug wires attached on here. I've got my handy dandy remote starter. Let's see if I can get an angle here where my reflection of my shirt isn't on there. But you'll see the cylinder here, no sparky. Uh, let me. I don't know about turning the water pump over with the motor over without any water in the water pump, so I just put a little water on there to keep my water pump happy. Anyways, let's see how you guys can see this. <laughs> One and two were sparking good. This whole bank was sparking really good. Uh, two was sparking good. Now let's watch six and four. Get my reflection out of there again. Anyways, looks like I have spark on all five cylinders except number four. So my next step is to get out the DVA peak voltage meter and test the outputs of uh, the power pack and uh, the outputs of the base timer trigger and uh, see where my problem is. I think first thing I'll do is I'll check to see what kind of voltage I'm getting out of the power pack to the coil. It's supposed to be about uh, 140 to 200 volts, I think. See you.